All right, we're back, and Teresa DeVito and Eileen Powell are here again, and we're going to be uh, moving. I guess we're going to be moving down from the um, from the vegetables because I don't want to pass up this wine. But that'll be a last. Thing. We, not going to forget that. We're going to we're going to talk about some items here. Let's let's let you just take over and, and tell us what's on the table. Okay. Um, there are lots of places to shop in Eureka, and um, there are lots of people are going to be uh, doing some French-themed things. Um, one of the places you'll want to be sure and visit is uh, Griffin's Roost, and um, they'll be offering couples massages, lots of uh, nice essential oils. Uh, the thing about Griffin's Roost is they keep it organic, and uh, okay. so all these little products that you see in here, they're all, no animals are harmed, and they're all just fine for your body anywhere, you know, your lips, your face, anything, it's good. So be sure and get a massage and then pick up some essential oils to take home. Now, is that the place you t said you got your hat? Yes, the okay. hat did come from Griffin's Roost as well. They have these lovely, all kinds of hats here. And, and another thing about their uh, products are they're upcycled. A lot of their uh, items are upcycled, and um, okay, what does that mean? Well, they they uh, the As artists as opposed to recycle. Well, it just means you know they take something old and you know, bring it okay. up a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, like, say for instance, this great little brooch was made from pop top cans. Oh, I see and, that now. Yeah. And it's all recycled. At, and a person in Brazil made this. Okay. So um, you well, can put it on your hat or something. But um, and, the, and this scarf right here is made from shirts. So wow, yeah, nice. and and look at this bag, ladies. It's like nine dollars. Oh. Isn't this wonderful? So you don't want to you don't want to miss Griffin's Roost. They have some really fabulous fabulous things. Um, so all the items are. Uh, they, they they buy them from all over the world and they, they bring them do, in? They do, they do. They, it's all about fair trade. They want mm -hmm. to um, purchase items from folks who are, are uh, making a good wage and mm -hmm. um, working under good conditions. And uh, people who, you know, look at this belt. Now this was handmade. This was, this is not something you can buy that was manufactured. Exactly. To, you know, somebody took the time to make this. So that's the kind of and product you're going to find And it one of a kind, obviously. Exactly. So, um, yeah. How so are the prices in there? Is there any deals? Um, well, I, yeah, I think so. Well, okay. for one thing, it's so unique and original. Um, well, let's just say this beret, I think this beret is, I'm wanting to say it's $32. I could be a little bit wrong okay. on there, but it's also recycled material. Okay. So, um, yeah. And it's unique, one of a kind. So It is, yes. That makes a huge yes. difference. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, the, <clears throat> the, the French are all about accessorizing. So, you know, you don't want to forget to get your jewelry there. Look, got these earrings mm -hmm. there, and uh, and we're featuring Griffins, but there's a lot of different um, shops there in Eureka that yes. have items probably along this line too. Yes, you can also stop in at the Cottage Caboodle. They have lots of little French things. They have the little Eiffel Tower there. They'll also be selling berets. Um, so that's that's a great little shop, and they're down on Main Street. Okay, and Griffins Roost is up on the main. Uh, on Spring Street there. Okay. Now, a lot of these shops, I mean, this is a fr total French event. Uh, uh, some of these shops, are they bringing in more items French-oriented, or, or the items are already there? Um, well, <coughs> uh, probably a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah. 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 Would like, you talk to us about the T-shirts, too, that are available? You know what? I will let Eileen okay, talk there we go. to you about that. Let's bring her into it. Yeah, we went to Bob Norman and asked him to design a logo for us, and he incorporated the Flatiron Building, which uh, when you w go into historic Eureka Springs, it's basically what people identify the town with. So he incorporated the Flatiron Building into the Fleur de Lis to create our Fleur Delicious logo and T-shirt and our artwork for our poster, mm -hmm. and uh, did a fabulous job. I'm getting calls and emails from people all over the country that are saying his uh, work posted on our Facebook page and also on our uh, website. So there's good, there's a lot of interest in this design. It's really unique and it's a really good brand for us. I'm bring and some work for him too. Absolutely. Well, the yeah. different places have, how can someone get a t-shirt? You can get a t-shirt through his website and you can also go to FleurDeliciousWeekend.com. We also have a link to his website to purchase t-shirts there. And I also want to add that on Saturday evening, July 9th, 
All the galleries in town will be staying open late. It's their second gallery, second Saturday gallery stroll, and you'll be having a lot of artists there that are coming in to do a special reception. And most of them have created a piece specific for Fleur Delicious, and it's going to be French right. themed. So a lot of the things that you see here on the table will be in stores and also in galleries. So again, the gallery stroll Saturday night. It's a great event. You can stop by Eureka Grill and get a Dubonnet on the rocks, or you can go down to the Stone House and get some champagne. You can do the stroll and visit all the different artists and all the retailers in town that are participating. Are there people, like a fun field are there people around town that, that can tell you about all of this French language that you're all these French food items and different things? Just about everybody in the okay. city has jumped on board and is participating and are well versed in all of our events and again our calendar absolutely defines everything and you can see everything that's available Thursday through Sunday so uh, the information's out there and everybody is you know we always say you know, we know no strangers and to know mm -hmm. us is to love us so mm -hmm. come to Eureka if you ever thought about coming to Eureka this is a great weekend to try us out. No okay. doubt. Okay all right well okay. let's take our last break and uh, we will be talking with Teresa DeVito again and she's going to uh, you're the expert in wine tasting, and also we're going to be doing some chocolate things here that uh, most all women love. Don't you love chocolate? Huh? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll Thanks be for yeah, we'll be tasting some chocolate and also uh, s some different wines that are going to be uh, available at this event, and we'll find out all about that when we return. Stay with us.